what's up everybody welcome to production music live now i know i am not the usual face or accent that you see on this channel but no worries i am here to help out the guys i did a mixing and mastering tutorial series of one of their project files which you can find in the description below and um it's a six hour session with no editing and we try to make the original track that they send in sound more analogy, but do that completely in the box. So it's quite an eventful um, mixing and mastering session, which is also informative. Uh, if you like, check that out in the description. Now, uh, the guys got in contact again and asked, hey dude, do you want to do short, concise 10 minute videos and explain uh, you know questions that people have like how to uh, make a certain sound in a song like a chord or or some sound design or uh, some bass lines or uh, some mixing things like that and I said sure I th I would be honored I like the guys for production Me live a lot and uh, you guys are also a bunch of awesome people by the way so enough sucking up let's get to the um Let's get to the actual video. And the first one is going to be about the drum compression that I use that works 9 out of the 10 times. And it can also be used as compression on the overall 2 bus, master bus. But let's just start with the drum compression that always seems to work. Always, kind of always. It's the first thing I tend to do. So... Uh, first and foremost, you're going to have to create, if you want to follow along, you're going to have to create a drum bus. So the only thing you have to do is group your drum tracks together. So for instance, if you have all these percussive tracks, it works on percussive tracks as well. So if you have this and this and this and this, and they're all different tracks, hold your command button down or your control button, right click and click uh, group tracks. You can also be super cool and just press command G or control G and then you know the shortcuts. Anyway, this is actually the setting. So I'm just going to delete that because otherwise we uh, we have to like start with the end and that's not how I like things. So let's just start from the beginning. So I have a quick little loop I made using the Production Music Live Deep Premium Volume 2.12 pack. I don't know if that's the title, but it's a nice little pack to get. And it obviously sounds a little bit deep housey. So let's have a listen to what this sounds like right now. Ooh, red. That little red thing you saw there, that never happened, okay? So that didn't happen. I'm a total pro. <laughs> anyway, so, you know, as you can hear, it's just, uh, it's just a little, you know, a little bass line with um, an effect, and that's it. But now let's just listen to the drums. All right, easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. And now let's put on that glue compressor what I'm talking about what I was talking about to start out with and let's talk about the settings actually let's put the settings right no 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 let's talk about the settings first okay so you have the attack time and let's talk about a compressor first so a compressor is basically a guy or a girl or any other gender um, that has a volume knob and um, with that volume knob when a sound comes in, I think it goes that way now. When a sound comes in on the left side of the compressor, let's just pretend it's going from left to right, then the volume person puts the volume down and I tell the person how fast it's going to go down, how fast the, it's going to go back up, um, to what extent it's going to go down with the ratio and to uh, how far they're allowed to put it down. With the threshold okay i guess that's uh that's that's about it uh, except for the range would do that but whatever um but that's the main thing it's just a person that's how you should think about it a compressor is just a volume knob but you can make the compressor you know this cool dj guy that kind of goes like 
you know, with the track, like you've probably seen like Kate Renata do that. It's like, doom, ba doom, ba doom, ba doom. And it sounds really cool. But we can now do that even faster and it sounds really, really nice. So you can make the compressor, I hate this term, but you can make the compressor glue together the track. So let's get the compressor to glue together the track. And the best way to glue it together is first set your settings like this, and then it's to use your ears. So do not look at the threshold. By the way, the magic setting is around this area, but just turn away from your screen or, or turn your screen off or whatever it is that you need to do to not look at it and put the threshold down. And as soon as you get, I always call it my base face, but as soon as you get your bass face going on, you're in the right ballpark of where your drums are going to sit nice and most likely are also going to sit nice in the mix. So just turn it down and see where it goes. Okay, I looked. <laughs> I was I was kind of feeling that it was a little bit too much, so I was just checking like how much am I doing. But for me, minus seven sounded really sexy. But it's a little bit too much because otherwise we get too nineties, it's too overcompressed. But anyway, let's put the makeup game back up so that we can do a proper A B. Okay, cool. So now, the best way to actually do this normally is to do this in the mix. So you put your threshold down in the mix, and then when you start feeling that it's nice and dirty, then you know, you've done a good job. But we're, we're doing it like this right now. So now that we have this, I'm going to put a button on there, and so I can turn it on without having to move my mouse. And um, what I want you to do is to, again, close your eyes, and I'm going to do a test with you right now. And I want you to see if you can hear the difference. And then after that, I'll tell you what the difference is. Okay, so let me just turn off my mic and close your eyes. So were you able to tell the difference or was it like, huh? I don't know what the hell this guy is talking about. Um, <laughs> it's probably the, the last one for some of you. It is important that you can actually hear it on some in a nice environment. I tend to do this on HD uh, 650s if I'm not in the studio and I'm not in the studio right now. So that's why um, sometimes it's difficult to hear. But what it's doing is basically making your drums a little bit tighter and normally you will find this um, when you have really long kicks then this glue compressor tight, tightens the thing together because it's reacting very much so on the kick drum by the way this also works in other genres just copy this setting put the threshold down until you think it feels right then put the makeup game back up so it becomes the same level on the overall group and then the ultimate test is put it back into the mix. And then as soon as you start, you know, you notice you're bobbing your head and you're kind of feeling it, you've done a good job. Now let's move on to one of the uh, files in progress called PMLJS, well, whatever. It doesn't really matter what it's called because it's in progress. So I don't know what it is exactly, but uh, I've had a look through it and it sounds pretty, pretty damn good already. So we have here a drum bus, a verse drum bus. So as you can see, the guys from Production Music Live are also really liking drum buses. And let me just go to the master to make sure that no extra crazy compression is... Oh, there's a limiter here, so let's just put that on zero, just in case. 
And let's just see how loud this is so you guys have a good level. <laughs> Why is it on minus one? Okay, so let's turn off that pluck and let's just listen to this. Now on this uh, verse drum bus, there isn't actually any compression yet. You don't always have to have compression, but I bet you that I can make it sound a little bit nicer. At least I hope so. So first and foremost, we're gonna do the same trick. We'll copy these settings again. Actually, I'll put it on four and I'm gonna put the threshold down until I get my bass face and then we should be good. This sounds pretty good already to me, but let's put the attack a little bit faster because I want more bass faciness. Put the ratio down. There you go. Okay, it's a little bit too much, so I'm kind of killing the low end a little bit. So I'm gonna put the dry wet down so that the low end from the kick drum comes through again. And now let's put the level back to where it was. I'm gonna again use that little shortcut. Let's go extreme, fuck it. Okay, so we went a little bit more extreme because I wanted uh, extreme being more uh, more dBs uh, put down. But what I want to do now is check that in the mix that we have and see how that will translate. So with the glue compressor off, it sounds like the bass drum is really being predominantly like and it's a bit much. But with it on, it becomes a tighter glued together sound, but it's a tighter unit, you know? Yeah, so my preference definitely goes out to the, uh, the the glue compressor in that setting. Now, the last thing what I suggest you do is try putting the glue compressor also on the master channel. So before any of the mastering, um, I'm saying mastering because I don't know why I just did that. <laughs> uh, I saw a person do air quotes today, so now I'm doing air quotes. But anyway, before you do the, the mastering, put a little glue compressor there because generally speaking, you can then glue together the track a little bit and then the whole track also the bra, 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 will sound like pop, 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 you know, it sounds like kind of together. So it's a little secret tip that people have been using forever. If you're interested in more information, Google the term uh, SSL bus compression and you will find a lot of things. Bye guys, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have any questions, make sure to put it in the comment section below and leave a like, cause that helps a lot. If you want more of this face, then um, you can go over to Cat and Beats as well. That's right. Or, you know, check out that whole, what's it called? That whole mixing and mastering uh, session. Okay, <laughs> enough silliness, back to work. Bye guys.